Hey guys, Raid Zero are you, and welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is episode 13, lucky for some. And today's episode is just going to be about working on the base. So, I've done a little bit of work off camera. You'll see I've, um, I've added these in here, just, I don't know, just to break up, break up the railings. Um... I've tried different blocks and I don't know, kind of thought those ones would do. Other thing I had to do was because of the changes that I did in. <laughs> it's interesting. Stand right underneath this thing, it thinks you've got a uh, roof over your head, so it cuts out the ambient noise. Um, because of the change, some of the changes I had to do to this, um, basically what I've then had to do is just extend this side out just by two blocks. So I've done that. I've started on the third um, gun tower there. But today, mainly, it's going to be working on these greenhouses. You'll see I've got the... Um, I've got the frames up. And things like that. So we just want to add in the rest of the stuff. So... I'm going to start to get this base looking, um, looking like a base, basically. Shouldn't take too much to, uh, should probably take that one around. That way we can uh, get a few more crops in, um, and I'll go through the the farming side of things. Okay, that's that. And then we have two. bring that over do the same over here that and then probably from there what we can do Head out with our drone. And it's the curved window we want, isn't it? Yep, there we go. And just comes around there. That one. We'll make sure we don't get too far away from our. Oh, we didn't put those ones in there. Well, oh, we'll do that after. Put one there. Um, and here we want these. Down here, we want more of these, but we want these. No, that. and like that, <laughs> and then just in here. Hey, 
Uh, wrong one. I was gonna say. It's wrong. Okay. So. That should then be complete. Now, what we need then need to do. Now the I suppose the main important concept when it comes to setting down the farm is that each of these grow lights they need to be like two blocks up so one two to give the plants room to grow the other thing is each of the uh, each of the lights will support a three by three block so you want to be setting it out in in that sort of fashion um, to make the most of your growing lights. I mean, do you have to do that? No, absolutely not. But to get the most out of each grow light, each one will support nine blocks. So, and that's kind of how I've set set this out. What I'm just going to do is just dig those out. Oop, try not to dig out the soil underneath. by three right. I wonder if I can Yeah, where the doors are. Not happy with it. So. And this way you sometimes just have to be willing to um, just change things up a little bit. Uh, not happy with those. So what I'm going to do is, I don't know, ramp top. That maybe. Let's have a look, see what that looks like. Mm. Probably just the uh, wedge, maybe. Like that. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, I like that a bit better. The other sides make sense because their pillars going down. These ones only go down to the door, so that makes more sense to me. Okay, so oops, sorry. So then, what we want is our growing pots and our grow lights. So grow pots, just place like any other, any other block, okay. but they must have one of these grow lights to be able to work, uh, to be able to grow anything. So one, two, three, let's so put it in the second one there, okay, and you'll see that lights up that section there, and then one lights up that section there so that's now fully functional so what we can do 
Now, these parts out here, which look a bit odd at the moment, basically uh, what these are is I just measured out where the next buildings would be. So this one's going to be the construction hall. This one's going to have the generators and power and uh, ammo and stuff like that in it. So, and this building's not going to be here. So, these doors are all in the right spots. So, eventually what I'll probably do is I'll probably join all these up with um, some glass tunnels. And the same here across to the other uh, greenhouse. Put a glass tunnel in there. Did we end up making oh, need metal components twenty? All right, just need a few more metal components, and then I just want to make a cannon turret just to uh, put on the other turret out there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the aloe vera. And I'm going to grab the corn. Reason I'm grabbing those, probably should explain. Um, reason I'm grabbing those is basically uh, for a large med kit. Uh, actually, they've changed it slightly. So we do need the Alien Plasma T6. Um, you used to need some other things for that. Um, plastic raw material that's in order to make plastic raw material basically um, what you need is <coughs> now where is it plastic raw material you need corn and rock dust and you do use uh, plastic raw material in various items um, probably don't need a huge amount of it but you need some the reason uh, I want the aloe vera up and running is because basically uh, the large med kit uses it and it uses three each time. On the other side I'll probably um, grow a decent amount of wheat for bread because uh, they're used in making rations uh, which hopefully we'll get to in the end. So. Okay, so we got corn sprouts and we got aloe vera. Aloe vera. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two rows of corn. That's probably all I need of corn. The rest of it is going to be aloe vera. So that'll be one, two, three, four, because it takes three each time to make a uh, med kit. So, put them on the outs outsides there, and then I'll put the aloe vera there. Now, as these grow, what I can do initially is I can use these to create more seedlings and just populate all of this. So, as you can see, this lot down here are um, fully populated now. Now, the other thing I wanted to have a look at was um, using the texture tool in there. So I'm just going to grab that texture and symbol tool. I'll grab the color tool as well, just in case. Uh, now. I'll play around with the colour tool and just see. Uh, do we want it to be white? Well, that ain't white. Hmm. 
Alright. I'm gonna apply it to the whole block just to make sure. did those ones and I don't want it on the whole block so So that then, <coughs> excuse me guys, alright so thinking that's like a ventilation type system there, now what would we do for the other, that one? Mm. that no <laughs> do I need to sometimes less is more do I need to actually be the question do I need to actually texture the whole thing probably not probably like that probably just makes sense it's enough of a break in it to uh, to go oh, okay okay that's what that's doing On the outside, it's it's all right. We're just getting a little bit far away, so that's why the break up. Yeah, I reckon that's probably pretty good for that. another cannon turret. Uh, do I want to be crafting anything at the moment? Probably do, but uh, what we got? No, we're right for the moment. Oh, yes, we do. We want some... We're going to need some lights around the place. Alright, so we've got glass plate and we've got those. So... Metal components. It's always metal components. Uh, we'll do 10. 20. Do 20 lights. We're going to need uh, plenty of lights, so we get those crafting. What I'll do is I'll put lights at the uh, top of each of the doors, 
there and then on the other side similar spot this one just need to fill in uh, with glass so I just need to make myself some more window blocks um, and it will be effectively identical to the other one there so should look okay I think but probably now is the time to uh, Actually, a bit easier to see when you, uh, if you're building at night and there's not much light, so a bit easier to see using the drone as well because of the light on it. Uh, now, we want the wedge, we want it that way. Those are in there. Actually, to be honest, I haven't actually had any um, any drone attacks for quite a while now. So, which is good in one way, a little bit disappointing in another, because like you set these defences up, you you want to uh, you want them to be tested from time to time. those ones in okay uh, go to our inventory get a cannon turret ah of course can't place the ca cannon turret until we put the um, the elevator block in so got to put that elevator block in first it's okay uh, now this was the corners wasn't it I'm trying to remember there we go yep Just need to do it. Do it once more. Yeah. That one. Just leaves us with these ones here, which we need to do the wedges and that's it. Our timer. Up there. 
Right. All right, so that's the basic, um, that's the the physical structure made. Uh, all we need to do now is I need to break out that block. So that gives us access to, to there. And, yep, got one door left, which is good. door in there and just quickly run over and um, have I got any elevator blocks left doesn't look like it unless they're in here but no so I need to make the elevator blocks uh, actually I'll see if I can quickly make one uh, let's see metal components and cables all right Metal components, cables, elevator block. Okay, so there's our lights. So we've got those, and we've got our elevator block. In fact, we'll do the lights afterwards. Oop, oop, oop. <laughs> Here we go. Alright. So once again we'll just go go to the drone. And we just want to put the elevator block in there. And that will then enable us to actually seat this thing properly on here. He says. Famous last words. And we want to Place it that way. Done. Alright, so that gives us our defences on that side. Uh, we've got our greenhouse complete and starting to grow stuff. As uh, well, starting to uh, grow more stuff. Um, before the next video what I'll probably do is I'll probably just complete this greenhouse and um, maybe start to bring these down the uh, ta the towers down the um, defense towers uh, I'll certainly complete the elevator in here but having said that we haven't put our lights in yet so we'll just quickly do that and uh, then we'll call it a day on this video. Uh, that one needs to be rotated. Okay. That's better. Rotate it. There we go. Yep. And then these ones go like that. That. This should give us plenty of light. Because all every one of these you place down is going to be a drain on your um, power supply. Um, but once we get the the first building, I'm going to build after the greenhouses is the generator room. So and we'll look to um, hopefully get some get a good amount going in there. So there we go. So the lights are on. In fact, what we might do just quickly, just have a just have a quick look. We will jump in here. Let's just lift it up. Uh, 
there we go. You can kind of see where we're going with that. It's not going too bad. So. Thinking I might turn the um, turn the dark side of the glass around so that's on the inside, just so from the outside it, it looks more like a greenhouse. But um, have a think about that. All right, so gonna call the video here, guys. Uh, that's the end of episode thirteen. Um, got a bit done, so hopefully you've enjoyed what you've watched if you have please leave a like and subscribe and look forward to seeing you all next time i'm raid zero au signing out